Hey Mixers, Graham here from TheRecordingRevolution.com and today let's talk about the Waves SSL channel strip and how you can use it to turn your recording software, your mixing software, into an SSL console. Now, two things, what is the SSL? The SSL is one of the most famous consoles ever, Solid State Logic. It's a great sounding console, still one of the most sought after consoles to mix on. It's what I grew up learning on in audio school and in my internship, and it's just got a great sound. It has what I would call an upfront sound. I love it for rock, for pop, for almost any genre where you want it to really hit hard and have punch. Now, Waves has the classic SSL bundle. It's just a great sounding emulation of the SSL channel strip from the, the filters, the EQs, the compressors, the gates, all of that, the channel itself, the fader, built into the plugin. And inside the bundle, you also get uh, a G channel, channel strip, which is modeled after another variation of the console, as well as the master bus compressor. And all that together can help you sort of recreate having your own SSL console in your laptop or on your computer or in your bedroom studio. Now, why would you want to do this? Two reasons. One, the SSL sounds great. So these plugins just sound great. You just put them on, you run your audio through them, it already improves the sound. It's subtle, but it just adds that texture, that upfrontness to your sound. It just works. But two, the channel strip concept of having an EQ and a compressor, filters, gates, all of that, even a polarity sw uh, switch to do phase problems, all in one little plugin is a great workflow. It's a great time saver. Because when you're mixing, you're not just doing EQ. You're not just doing compression. You're not just balancing level. You're thinking about all these things at once. And when it's all in one plugin, as opposed to an EQ plugin, a compressor plugin, whatever, you can work faster. You can work more efficiently. And working fast is so important to getting a good mix so you don't burn out so that you don't lose perspective on the song. So I really like the SSL channel strip for the workflow. So what I'm gonna do is show you inside of Pro Tools how to do this. Now don't be sad if you don't have Pro Tools. This isn't a Pro Tools tutorial, it's just the software I use. We're just gonna be looking at the SSL channel strip so it'll look and sound the same on any platform, whether you're in Logic or Cubase or Studio One or anything, it doesn't matter but I'm gonna show you how I do it in a real life session. I've got no plugins on this session, just blank recording. And what I'm gonna do is insert the SSL channel strip and mix through it and show you what it looks like, it sounds like, and how quickly, which is really important, how quickly you can get a great sound using the SSL bundle from Waves. Let's take a look. All right, so here I have a session where I've just balanced the faders, meaning I've just put some volume where I think tracks should be. There's no plugins yet, and everything's kind of routed through this final track here that I've called Mix Bus. Take a listen to where we're at. And then you speak. Am I listening? All right, and what I wanna do is show you how easy it is to turn your session into mixing through an SSL console. And I'm literally gonna put the SSL channel strip on every track. So I'm gonna start here at my kick drum and go all the way down to the final harmony vocal. And I'm gonna insert Waves SSL channel. So now this plugin is on every one of my audio tracks from a kick drum to a background vocal to a bass to a, uh, a lead guitar. And again, what's beautiful about this plugin is that not only does it sound great, and it really has modeled the sound of the SSL console, which is what I learned on, but it gives you so many weapons in one plugin in one simple space. So on the left, you've got your EQ. So you got your filters. These let you roll off the top end or the bottom end, high pass filter, low pass filter. And then you have four bands here, a low band here, a low mid, uh, upper mid, and the top, top frequencies there. You have a compressor on the right, so under the dynamic section on the right, you have a really good sounding compressor. This is just an awesome compressor um, built in. You know, if this were its own plugin, it would sound amazing. Uh, great compressor. You have a gate or expander, which is great if you have really noisy tracks or you wanna uh, minimize the drum bleed on a track. It can, it's built right in, and you have a lot of fine tuning control of how, how hard it's muting audio for you. And then you have phase 
invert polarity invert button here, which is super important, more of an advanced thing, but it's nice to have it right here in this plugin so you don't need another plugin. And then a final uh, output fader to balance the volume as you need. Now, a lot of great presets, of course, you can get started with um, from some of our favorites, whether it's Chris Lord Algae or um, you know Ross or any of these guys. Dave Pensato has some. But this tool by itself is ready to go. Now, what I've done is just basically put all my tracks through it. I'm going to put one other plug in on my master fader. And this is part of the SSL bundle. And that's the master bus compressor. Love this thing. Um, this really allows you to get your mix to pump. So what I want to do is just show you how powerful these plugins are. Again, just the SSL channel strip and then pretending that it's a console. So at the very end on the mix bus, the final track going out, the master fader I've got, uh, the master bus compressor. So let me set the compressor first, and then I'm going to go play with some of the individual channels here. Cool. So what I did here was just sort of set the a slower attack. I like 10 milliseconds, a really fast release so that the compressor resets really quickly. So it's not squashing my audio. It, it allows the, the music to come back through. I left it at a four to one ratio. And then I just adjusted the threshold. So I was seeing maybe one to two dB of gain reduction on the meter. And then I brought up the, out, the output gain, the makeup gain a little bit so I don't lose any volume. And you can hear what this does. I'll press play and take away the compression. And then you Am I listening? Yeah, the kick drum thumps more. There's just more pump in the mix. We're already getting going. So now let's take a look at the channel strip. Uh, what I'm going to do is probably just grab a couple of tracks here. I'm going to let it loop and let it play. So just take a listen, and I'm going to start adjusting some things really on the fly here quickly to show you how we can make a big impact on our mix very quickly with the channel strip on every track. And then I'll uh, show you where we've come from and explain maybe what I did. Here we go.
night, so I was kind of going all over the place, but I did some adjustments on the acoustic guitar, gave it some compression to let it cut through a little bit more in the mix. There is an acoustic up the middle right here. I did a little bit of EQ on the guitars on the left and the right to make them poke out a bit. I did some uh, real pumping on the, the drums, the room mic for the drums to make it really, really slam. Makes the room sound longer and bigger. A little bit of cymbals in the overheads, a little bit of snap on the snare drum, a little bit of compression on the vocals. So let's see what happens if we take away just those small little moves we did. Everything's running through the SSL, so they're all benefiting from the SSL modeling and uh, just the tone of the channel strip, even if I didn't adjust anything. But let's see what happens if I take away all the SSLs, including the master bus compressor on the end, and see where we came from in just a couple of minutes. And then you speak. Huge difference, right? It's like a blanket's been lifted off the mix. Things are pushed more forward into the mix, so you hear them closer to you, more clarity, more excitement. And it happens so quickly because these are not only good sounding plugins, they're very practical plugins. EQ and compression are really the secret to good mixing. And you have both right here, including a gate, including the analog modeling sound, including a phase reverse, including your sort of output channel. It's all there so you can just work quickly. And that's why I like it. I can grab a knob, move quickly, and it just sounds good and it comes together fast. And that's what you want to do when mixing is move quickly. Now, the great thing about the SSL bundle is that you have another uh, couple of plugins in the mix. One is you get the, uh, the G channel, which does sound different. Very similar layout, slightly different um, EQ curves where they are, and it does sound different. So if you want to mix and match, you can put the G channel on some of your tracks and the E channel on some of the other ones. And then if you just need EQ on a track, or let's say on the mix bus, I wanted to EQ the entire mix, you can just grab the EQ by itself, which is beautiful. So you got the same same G EQ that's on the G channel right here, but you've got just the EQ part, including a filter that I can stick on the master fader or on any track I want. And that's how I take the SSL plugin and turn my DAW into a virtual SSL console where you get that sound, that flexibility, that power, and you can mix that quickly. For more tips and tricks on how to get your mix to sound good, head over to therecordingrevolution.com and check out all the free content there.